Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday morning to you guys. I pray you all had a great weekend, a happy Thanksgiving with your family. Pray you received sweet sleep last night. Woke up with bells and whistles on, ready to take on this new day. Hey there, Heartbeat Eva. Hey, Heartbeat Bernice. Good morning, good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Belinda. Good morning to you. Hey, Heartbeat Rainy. Heartbeat Lamont, good morning. Good morning, good morning to you all. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts on this morning. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka I'm the heart gatherer. And this morning, your daily dosage is a continuation of last week, Boundaries Gotta Have Them, part four. Boundaries Gotta Have Them, part four. Hey there, heartbeat Doris. Last week, um, we started talking about um, the things that we needed to do with our boundaries. And we started out saying, um, you've got to clearly identify, hey, Harvey Melodia, you've got to clearly identify your boundary. You've got to understand why you need the boundary um, and know that you have permission to set it. Number three, you've got to be straightforward with your delivery. Number four, hey, Harvey, Carolyn, hey, make sure you check your messenger, okay? Harvey, Carolyn Smith. Um, hey, Harvey, Troy. Um, four, never apologize for the length of your explanation. Number five, use a calm and polite tone. Number six, always start with your tight boundaries. Number seven, address violations immediately. Number eight, don't make it personal to the other person person. Number nine, have an accountability partner, a support system. And so today we're going to start with number 10. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. It's your God-given discernment. And so when you are setting these boundaries, you've got to trust yourself. Hey, Harvey Sabrina, Harvey Donnell, you've got to trust yourself. You know when something makes you feel uncomfortable. You know when something is wrong. And so you've got to to trust yourself. You've got to focus in on your feelings. What are your feelings saying to you? Always, always, always know if it feels wrong, it is wrong. And you should not subject yourself to that. Amen. Number 11, let go of the guilt of having to set a boundary. You know, sometimes because we have to set boundaries and the, hey, Harvey Rodney and Harvey Carolyn, because we have to set boundaries um, with our family and with our friends, sometimes guilt can come in. You know, hey, Harvey, Mama Hardy, sometimes we'll feel guilty, you know, about it, but you've got to let go of the guilt of having a boundary. Amen. Hey, Harvey, Alice, um, you cannot allow people to continuously, as I like to say, mishandle you. I'll tell you quickly, you're mishandling me. That's warning number one. You're mishandling me. That's warning number two. Then you can have a long discussion after that. And I'm getting ready to tell you why you're mishandling me. So getting back to it. Number 11, let go of the guilt of having a boundary. It is okay. Hey, heartbeat to Shada, heartbeat Val. It is okay to let somebody know that they are are mishandling you. You have to set boundaries. Do not put yourself through emotional turmoil for wanting better for yourself. I'm going to say that again. Do not, do not, do not put yourself through emotional turmoil just because you are bettering yourself. Amen. So listen, that's, those are the 11 things about the boundaries. I have some time here left this morning, so I'm going to get into Pastor G, how do I handle those people who don't want to respect my boundaries? Because you know we have them, they're family and friends, right? And some of them think they can still say what they want to say to you whenever they want to say it to you. They think they can speak to you in a tone that's, you know, disrespectful that you're not going to accept. And so when I'm dealing with those who don't want to be accountable or don't want to respect my boundaries, the first thing you've got to understand is this. Don't participate in unproductive conversations. It will steal your peace. 
Don't participate in unproductive um, conversations. It will steal your peace. You've got to understand this, that when a person decides that they don't want to respect your boundaries, now you've got to really set up boundaries for that person. You cannot allow somebody to steal your peace and you cannot participate in unproductive conversations. It's not helpful for your emotional state. It's not helpful for your peace. And so you've got to just walk away. You've got to pick and choose the time you spend with that person. Understand this, that it is okay to decline invitations. You do not have to accept every conversation, every invitation that you are invited to. You've got to pick and choose. Remember, we're working on wholeness. We're working on maintaining wholeness. We've get, we're have we getting over the traumas in our lives, the past in our lives, and we're not going to allow anyone to take us back to where we used to be. Remember, when setting these boundaries, sometimes the people that you have to set these boundaries with are the people that cause the pain in the past and we're not going there. We've already lived that. We're not reliving the past. God has called us into the new and so we're not concentrating on on the old. And so when you are dealing with someone that does not want to respect your boundaries, don't participate in unproductive um, conversations. Pick and choose the time you spend with that person. Number three, never react or respond to their disrespectful behavior. Don't allow anything to get you off the path of wholeness. You take no exits from wholeness. You stay on the path. Again, never react or respond to their disrespectful behavior, which leads me into number four. Just walk away, flee, because you know the old you and they know the old you too. Once upon a time, you would have stood there. You would have gone toe to toe with them. You would have been like the, you know, having showing that you have a PhD in cosmology, but that's not you anymore. You know, so you got to look at the then and now, you know, then I used to do this, but now I know who I am. Now I know my value. Now I know my worth and now I won't come down to your level of stupidity. I will not come down to your level of foolishness. I will not come down to your level of brokenness. I will not allow you to bleed on me. I'm not doing that craziness anymore because I know who I am and I am made in God's image and you will respect me. You will value me. If you don't see my worth, I see my worth and I know my worth. So I will no longer allow you to mishandle me. I will no longer allow you to speak to me disrespectfully. If I deem raising your voice, yelling is disrespectful, you're done. I'm taking an exit off of your brokenness because that will get me off my path of wholeness. I am maintaining my wholeness. I have come too far. And so you've got to remember that we do not respond to somebody else's foolishness. We do not respond to somebody else's disrespect. We are made in God's image. We understand that now. We know that now and we're never turning back. We are maintaining our wholeness and we will continue to walk in all of the new that God has for us. And the church said, Amen. Number five, you've got to understand this, that you are always in charge. You are the boss of you. Nobody else is your boss, but Jesus the Christ. That is it. You are always in charge. You can always shut the foolishness down. You can always shut the craziness down. Remember, you are always in charge. I want to say that again, because I want Want that to seep down into your knower of knowers. Yeah, I just made that up. But you are always in charge. And so let's look at it. Toxic people. I'm going to go through this real quickly so that you know when you're dealing with a toxic person so you can exit stage left from this person. Remember, number four is always walk away, always flee. So here are the characteristics of toxic people. 
They lie on a regular basis. You want to stay away from that. They take advantage of your kindness. You want to watch out for that. They don't respect your boundaries. They manipulate you in order to get what they want. This is why they always cross your boundaries because they don't respect you. They want you to do what they want you to do when they want you to do it. Game over for that. We don't do that anymore. They always want to put you down no matter how well you're doing. Doing, no matter what you're doing well, they can find something wrong with it. You color your hair. Oh, it's nice, but it's a little too bright. You know, all of that foolishness. We're not dealing with that anymore. They don't encourage you to pursue your goals. You've got to remember this. Broken people like to break people. Remember, broken people like to break people. You've heard the cliche, misery loves company. And so they don't encourage you to pursue your goals because they want you to stay down there on the ground with them with the chickens just doing nothing but now you are an eagle and you know that and you know that you are supposed to soar so get away from the toxicity get away from the people hey their heart be the lane get away from them don't they um the next thing about them they don't consider other people's feelings or needs it's always about them. Everything is about them. You've ever met a person that no matter what you're talking about, they can turn the conversation and point it back at themselves. You talk about how nice the weather is, how nice the weather is, and somehow or another they make the weather about them toxic. Get away from them. They always feel entitled. No, they're not entitled, but that's how they always are. They're frequently angry or aggressive. Always. So you want to watch out. Rarely apologize. Wearing the pride way too heavily. Anytime you think that you can apologize to somebody, you are really in a heavy state of pride and you need help. Get the help you need. They like to blame others and they don't take responsibility for their actions. Toxic people. So you approach them, you tell them what they did. They want to put it on you. They never want to take responsibility. No accountability for their own actions. Or they'll do this. Um... If I yelled at you, if I, you know, you yelled, ain't no if I. So these are toxic people, toxic people. They drain your energy. Remember game over for that. You have too much life to live and you need all the energy that you have for everything that God is about to do in your life. Get away from the toxic people. They have a lot of drama or problems, but they don't want to change. Listen, you will not be a part of their theatrical production. Game over for that. Let them seek the help they need, but they will not take it out on you. You know who you are. You know your worth. You know your value. And remember that this is danger because uh, we're changing with everything that we have and they don't want to change. There is nothing you can do with a person that does not want to change except for pray. That's all you can do. Remember again, when they like to upset others because broken people like to break people. Here's a good one here. They talk but don't listen. They always have a lot to say, but they do not listen. And last, they think the rules don't apply to them. They think that your boundaries don't apply to them. And so again, we're not allowing anyone to bleed on us. We're not allowing anyone to put their brokenness on us. Game over. We have too much to do in the kingdom of God and God is blessing our lives. We are not going back, living under the curse. We're not doing that. And so you have to get away from toxic people. I'm going to stop right there for today, but we are going to continue on in this all week. Amen. Boundaries, setting boundaries for people. And then we're going to get into setting boundaries for yourself. Amen. Hey, listen, if you have not subscribed, that's the daily dosage for today. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel already, please do so because there you'll find all of your dosages in 
in one place. Follow me on social media platforms. God wants me whole. Visit the website, GodWantsMeWhole.org. You know how we do this thing. Come on, let's say it together. Say, God wants me whole and I am. Again, I'm Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka I'm the heart gatherer. I love you guys a bunch. Go out there, have a spec while amazing day. Look out for falling blessings because they are falling all around you. And tonight is the last whole woman for the year. We're going to chill through the month of December. Enjoy your family. Enjoy the, you know, Christmas festivities. So tonight will be the last whole woman for the year. If you have, do not have the Zoom link, please email me at Regina at GodWantsMeWhole.org. Listen, you want to be on that Zoom call tonight with me and Elder Carolyn. It's going to be bananas. It's going to be spec wow amazing. And so you want to be on it again. It's the last whole woman um, call for this year. Again, email me at Regina at GodWantsMeWhole.org if you do not have the link. Again, spec while amazing day to you. Look out for falling blessings because they are falling all around you. And I will see you right back here tomorrow morning as we continue in. Boundaries, gotta have them. I love you guys and I'll see you if not tonight, I'll see you in the morning.